hope this works. And it's actually sounding pretty good. This just ain't working. So I've got a part here on the DVF-8000T and it's giving me a real headache. Way more than Barry usually does and that's really saying something. Ooh, sparkly. For starters, I'm barely holding onto the bottom of the stock with a dovetail profile. It's hanging out the top of the vise by a country mile and we've got a lot of material hanging off one side of the vise. And I have to take full credit for this failure because I knew all of this going into this project and maybe I was getting a little bit too optimistic. Oh, that didn't work. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys exactly what's happening and how we're gonna go about fixing it. So I'm using a one inch core five to rough out the profile of this part. And since my material's hanging out so far on the vise, I thought I had all the parameters adjusted accordingly. But as you just saw, when the tool reaches a certain point in the material, we got a ton of vibration. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna rewrite this and I'm gonna decrease that step over in order to decrease the amount of tool pressure. So hopefully that's all we need in order to get this to work. Oh, something's not right here. This material's sticking out as far as Trevor's forehead. <laughs> oh my God. Why is it always the rush jobs that give you the most trouble? All right, so that didn't work either. And at this point, the only thing I can really do is to decrease the step over even more, maybe even taking it in two passes instead of one, or maybe slowing the feed and speed down. But at that point, I'm really defeating the purpose of using a one inch core five anyway. So instead of trying to force this tool to work, I think I need to back up and punt here and go with a smaller tool. So I'm gonna step down to a three quarter inch core five. That way we get a lot less tool pressure on our part and it's gonna be a little bit more free cutting and it's even gonna be easier on my spindle connection. And since we're getting a lot of vibration, my surface footage could have a lot to do with that. So to start out with this tool, we're gonna to drop the RPMs by half and then see if that gets rid of our vibration. God, I need Bo Nogo here to fix this problem. What you need to do is turn it up. This just ain't working. Oh, I know who could help with this, Blake PB. Shout out to you, Blake Peanut Butter, for becoming a level three member. Thank you so much for supporting Free Edu- Now for the rest of y'all, if y'all want a shout out, then go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and then hit the join button to become a member. As a member, you gain access to perks, like talking to Jesse directly through Discord. Hey, who let you out of your pack and play? Look, you don't know this, but Donnie has vowed to shave his head if we get 1 million subscribers by the end of the year. Now, I'm not talking about just a little buzz cut. I'm talking about Dave Cox bald, baby. So help us get to a million subscribers by the end of the year because I really want to see that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going about this all wrong. I keep slowing things down but it's not getting any better. So that's telling me I'm going the wrong way. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut my step over in half. I'm gonna maintain that full axial depth of cut. I'm gonna ramp up my surface footage and then I'm gonna increase my feed rate up to 600 inches a minute. Then I'm gonna have me a Celsius because me and this machine's about to get buck wild. Let's do it. Oh, I hope this works. All right, this is working a lot better. This is a much more stable process. So if you find yourself in a situation like this where you don't have the most rigid setup, you really need to listen to that cut and find out what it's telling you. In our case, we just had way too much tool pressure. Now I could keep slowing things down, but our material removal rate is gonna suffer at that point. So in order to keep our MR up, we increase those feeds and speeds with that lighter step over. And as you can see, this worked out much better. 
And if you guys want to see what I'm making, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button because we're going through the full process of this part in a future video. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Here comes Mr. Rogers. You guys aren't filming right now, are you? No. Not, not doing anything important, right? This material's sticking out as far as Trevor's forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I give up and I just cut it off. You can't scrap parts if the machine is off.